There is no reason anymore not to run Windows 10 Pro retail version on your PC. Get it now, $12.50 only, instant delivery on a brand new secured web store. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to part 26 of this Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Ultimate Graphics uh, version. And I did notice in the previous parts I by accident say the, the, the 2021 Ultimate Graphics tutorial, but that's of course not true. Um, the Let's Play version, which is based on the uh, Skyrim 2021 Ultimate Graphics tutorial. So the last part, we uh, became a werewolf with the companions because we're now part of the inner circle. And let's see how cozy uh, these two are uh, walking uh, right behind each other. Um, and yeah, we have some, we have a follow-up quest for that. Um, but then again, what I did do is I checked all the quests except for the Dongar the Dragonborn expansion, and uh, to see a little bit what is what we can do on the map. Um, and I have this quest, which I think is the most near one. And I uh, got this quest. I obtained this quest when I talk uh, when I talked to this guy here in White Run when I was selling a lot of weapons and stuff. So I thought since this is pretty close by, we might want to go there to uh, get his sword. And uh, yeah, that's an easy quest I think to solve. So let's uh, fast travel to this um, to the nearest point, and then let's just try to find that sword there. So I did sell a lot of stuff. I did disenchant a lot of stuff. So we don't have to go um, over there in this uh, playthrough. Okay, first let me make sure I set my timer. Yeah, let's start 25 minutes from now. So I have a little bit of an idea what to expect. And it is currently 10 a.m. Um, that means we have a day ahead of us, which is pretty cool. So I would say let's go find that sword from that guy in White Run. And then maybe I thought maybe we could try the Hack Ravens again if we're able to kill them. Try to do that with a resist fire potion maybe. And we're a lot stronger now as well. And also the last thing I did do is I did enchant my uh, yeah, Ebony Sword again. Um, which now does additional 10 points of magic and damage. So I think we have, we have a pretty strong um, outfit again. And I hear some Nurn roots here, which I can pick. And also, what I really love is the water mods. And you can see how very realistic it looks when you are walking in the water. That's something, you know, which is a huge improvement, in my opinion, over the original mod, uh, the original water. Okay, there's a floating rabbit here. For some reason. Okay, the thing is, with all these quests activated, it's a little bit difficult to focus on the quest we need to do. And that is... Um, not this one. That is the family sword, so let's do it like this. All right, so it's pretty close. It's somewhere here, yeah. What is that, a swindler's den or something? No, it's, it's uh, this retreat. So let's see, if there are only bandits, I don't think we should worry that much. But then again, let's not get too overconfident. Let's first see what we're going to find here. So we can at least bring him the sword back. Veterans retreats. It seems to be some sort of mine, so I hope no undead again. It's just, um, just some regular folks here. I do hear talking, so that means we can maybe go for a stealth shot even while I'm not stealthy at all yep yeah <laughs> we're not doing any uh, we're not doing it bad with a controller in so that's a good thing is there anyone else here
Apparently not, so that's a good thing. Let's see if there is anything of value here. Yeah, they're not very strong, these bandits. I think uh, we are very high level as well. And I think this might have been a it's one of the starter quests. So... Ah, this poor duck. Sorry about that, but yeah. Then we can't trust anyone here in this um, bandit cave. Yes, iron arrows, some septums, which we can take for sure. These are both iron arrows. And this is a novice locked chest. And this should be it, somewhat around here. No, then like this. Yep, all right. We're getting better and better in uh, lock picking. All right, yeah, relatively easy. Let's see if we're able to do another couple of sneak attacks. Let's be careful not to activate any traps. They're not really that tough, are they? Oop. Ah, I missed that, really. Where is he? Okay. I guess Utgurt is way too strong for uh, for these guys. Utgurt, let something come in, please. Taken care of. Yep. Alright, he has an Iron War Axe of Burning. It's a nice one. Um, but it's just an Iron War Axe, so not that special. His armor, I don't care much about. Ah, that was a pretty uh, lame uh, chief. But there are some good ingredients here which we can use for creating potions. What is this? Oh. It's a nice book. It's a very uh, sophisticated trap. Mm, not really, but that's it. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> what a lame dungeon. Ah, look at this. This family sword and no, oh, nice. Actually, some. Oh, look, we have a X which can, which we are now able to fill soul gems. So that's what we want. And we have this treasure map, also. So let's uh, find that out if we're able to see anything on this treasure map. Okay. So that's right run. Oh, okay. Look at that. Hmm. That sounds good. Let's uh, find out um, what we uh, if we can find a treasure. That's pretty nice, actually. Let's see if there's anything here. Yes, we have some potions. For the rest, nothing really fancy. So let's get out of here and let's try to find a treasure. That would be nice. We didn't loot this room, right? Didn't we do that? Oh, apparently not. Okay. It's a good thing we walked the same way back. And let's try to find a treasure. So, all right, let's quick save. Um, so let's see, let's check that item again. We cannot favorite that item. So it is. Okay, 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 okay. It's yeah, it's at that um, small farm. Okay, so let's go back to the stables, I would say. And then we should be able to get to the farm and try to find the treasure spot. Alrighty, it's currently 11.25 a.m. So we have plenty of time left for the day. So let's see, was it this mill? 
I have to check it again. I'm really horrible with uh, with notes. So it is here. Okay, yeah, so that should be here then. Display gift farm. Let's see how that looks on the map. Yeah, okay, so then that is somewhere here then. The treasure. Well, I'm curious. I never really done much of a treasure map, so I'm really, really curious what we were going to find. So let's see. Scene from here. So it's located. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit further in the mountains. Let's see where we're going to find. So there is a passage we can take from here, I guess. Some sort of route. Look at the nice ground covers, by the way, here from uh, our great landscape overhaul mods. Alrighty. Okay, let's see on the map where we are. Okay, we're way. <laughs> Out of the direction where we should be should be somewhere here right let's check it i really hope that i'm able to find it and not making a fool out of myself by not able to find it here let's see is this gonna work you guys think okay So here's the farm. We also have some, yes, this weird white run flickering. For some reason, I have that with all my mods, all my mod lists. I don't know really sure what it is. I think there are some meshes interfering, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's see. Um, we need to go a little bit more through the right. Let's see if it's up here in the mountains that we're not like running down, sprinting down, and then we find out, okay, it's not really here. It will be a waste. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to test. Ah, that's stupid because I uh, charged my weapons with it or discharged it. I should say, I think it might be somewhat around here. That would be my guess. That we find it somewhat here, but could be mistaken, of course. So we are, yeah, it looks like we are very close here now. So it should be somewhere here in the mountains. And I'm not sure if it's a cave or just a hiding place. Let's see, let's maybe just check this um, spot here, but... Yeah, if I really can't find it, I will um, search for it um, uh, beyond these uh, Let's Play parts, because I don't want you guys to watch a 25, mini 25 minutes part where I... Um, you know, just um, trying to find the treasure. So let's have one more look here. And else I'll just find it on my own, I think. It's just some rubble. Let's see, where could that treasure be? So where am I right now? Yeah, we are close, I think. I think we are close. No treasure here. Oh, I hear some wolves. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know where it is. Um, so I will find. Uh, I'll try to find it in my own uh, time beyond the let's play stuff. And look, we have some ore here. So let's equip our pickaxe and let's attack it. Goes a lot faster. Okay, and it's been depleted. Yeah, if it's not here, then I'll just. But I'm really curious, I have to say, about this. So maybe let's have to look at the visual input. One more time. So, the drawing. Treasure map. Okay, so we need to stand here, I guess. Mm, okay. We have to watch it sideways. Then there's a passage here which leads uh, somewhere there. I don't know. I will. I will check it out because it could also be that the mods did alter the parts and the meshes a little bit. So for that, it's hard for me to 100% um, determine where it is. But anyway, we do have a, um, a sword to deliver back. So let's uh, deliver the sword. So at least someone is happy. And I'm wondering for the ones who are watching all the parts, or at least you watch it till now, um, what I would like to che uh, check, you know, who is still interested in the Let's Play series. Um, if you're still watching and you like it, then please type in the following comments in the comment section, just to confuse people a little bit, you know, that they're uh, seeing this random comment. But type in somewhere, uh, just type in, I can't find the treasure. So if you're still watching and you like it so far, then type in the comment section this random comment. I just can't find the treasure. So I'm really curious to see who is still watching it uh, all the way till here. Um, anyway, let's equip the compass. Or equip, activate the compass. And let's bring him the good news. Good afternoon. If he stands still. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Duh. Thank you. Here. My father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Okay. Oh, nice. Ha! Neither are you, eh? Good to see another red guy. I'd like to think we bring a little heat to this frozen wasteland. Yep. Awesome. So we finished that quest. So let's see what other quests do we have still around here. So let's activate all these quests. Yeah, we do have that rec hack raven stuff as well. So let's see what's a little bit close by. We still have these two quests as well, but for that we need to travel to Morthal or here at Solitudes to join the Imperial Legion, but I don't want to do that yet. And um, what is this quest? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty far away. And we then have also the quest to investigate Falkreath and we do have this quest for the Orphan Rock. So I would say I'm going to create some fire resistance potions and maybe um, yeah let's see uh, hopefully we're able to take the Hag Ravens that they're not like instant kill us. Because I'm not sure how many Hag Ravens there are. Let's see are we maybe able to Ah, we are able to create some resist fire potions. So let's see, we need to have the Fly Amantia and Mud Crab Chin. Maybe she sells them as well. Fly Amantia and Mud Crab Chin. Hello, friend. Take a look. No, it doesn't seem so. It's hmm. unfortunate. Um, okay. Let's buy her resist fire potions. Yeah, 
yeah that should be and maybe let's buy some stamina potions i'm really um scared for the heck ravens <laughs> to be really honest so let's hope we're able to kill them ailments, and, and maybe we can send utgard first in combat so we can also create some healing potions that's nice we have some damage health poison i think it is yeah and let's create i sell cures for all ills and i'll be happy to serve you hmm. Hmm, okay <laughs> waste of ingredients but that's fine all right let's go for the hack ravens and there's no reason for us to <laughs> shit a rep and shit uh, it's currently 1 p.m. So we have plenty plenty of time before it's getting dark. So maybe we can surprise attack them I don't know else we can go for invisibility. Anyway, let's fast track to Helgen To see if we're able to kill them These Stupid hack ravens so Let's see I don't have the block skill yet, right? Oh, what we want definitely is to uh, Disable the other quests all right, let's see. Um, are you ready, Utgurt? Maybe I can just let her charge in. That would be the best. Um, okay. So, let's see. This is something we need for preparation. Yeah, we need to favorite the fire resistance potion. It's only 30%. And this is a 40% resistance. This is 13, 20. Yeah, it's not really that much. Not sure if it stacks, probably will not. So we want to favorite this one. And let's see how it goes with um, just a regular uh, resist fire potion. Okay. So let's try to kill some Hack Raven. And like I said, they're very, very close to Helgen. So, you know, if you have like. If you had children who would like to go out in the forest and uh, yeah, you know, just explore the nature and all. There's not only wolves who are dangerous to them, but also these freakish hack ravens. So maybe, you know, it's like the uh, fairy tale of Hansel and Grethel. They're being captured, putting in the oven. All that scary shit when you're a child. You don't want to think about that, do you? Hello? Okay, so let's see. Let's maybe go already for Orcus Bow. And let's quick save and let's see if we're able to spot a Hack Raven and maybe do some serious damage to them already. So, let me check because. Okay, Orphan Rock. I think um, there are just a few Hack Ravens. Because it's not an entrance to a dungeon, okay. That means we can maybe already... Nah, let's just save it. Oh, crap. I am pathetic. Says who, exactly. Uh, I think they don't want to... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, even his sword and let's go uh, full fire stuff and let's also go into unrelenting force and maybe we'll run sprint it's not that bad for this here someone there okay these are not hack ravens they're just witches where are the hack ravens wrong button so okay because I think we can use the the sprint to uh, avoid any uh, yeah I hear the heck ravens already there so I think uh, let's oh 
okay, they're there. I can dance all day. Hack Raven. I'm not sure if you can, but I can. Nope, unless I don't have stamina. <laughs> then not, of course. Um, let's see, we do have some stamina potions for sure. Alrighty. Oh, she's healing herself. Let's try to... Is she dead right now? Should I run? Okay, that was not too bad. I was a lot more concerned than I should have been. So, we have the Nettle Bane. Let's just um, see what's inside here. So, we have this. Pretty sold down. Okay. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Oh, am I? Talk to me Return then. Turn my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Okay. We can do that. Okay, so we have now another quest. Let's see what we need to do. We need to bring that thing to um, Mount Kilrat. Let's see where it is. Okay, it's also here near Solitude. So we have some quests also at Solitude. So let's see what happens if we activate all the quests. Except Dawnborn and Dringerborn. Let's see then. There is this quest for Winterhold. We know that. For Solitude, we have also two quests then, but that's for the Imperial Legion. Uh, this one we do have for the uh, Greybeards, if I'm not mistaken. So we can either travel from Morthal or from Solitude. And I guess if we travel from Solitude, we can also do the quest we just picked up. And then maybe venture a little bit to the east to do this one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do here in Skyrim and a lot of places to go. And then we also, of course, can go to Falkreath. And then, yeah, we have the Dark Brotherhood quest line also, which we have, um, the I think we started quest for it already. So a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to do. And then not, but not least, I also, I also really, whoa, wow, look at this. A lot of stuff here in Riften. Look at this, a lot, of, a lot of stuff in Riften. Okay, um, maybe we want to go to Riften because this is also the quest for the Hack Ravens. Us oh, Hack Ravens, the companions, I mean. So, uh, yeah, I guess it might be the best thing to go to uh, Riften. Yeah, even while there are a lot of quests here as well. Wow, I mean, we have so many places to go, so many decisions to make. Mm, it's hard. I will, yeah, uh, we'll probably go to Riften uh, for the next part. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it and hope to see one of the next parts. Take care. Bye-bye.